Hi everyone, I'm Elijah. Welcome back to Music Greatness. For today's lesson, I'm going to break down Strange. It sounds just like this. Alright, for this first part, I'm going to break down the verse and the pre-chorus. We're playing in the key of D. In the key of D major. And for the chords, we're going to start with D major. Playing it like this. So, I have octave D on my left. Playing F sharp and A on my right hand. Then, I'm going to play G minor with D on the bass. So that's octave D, once again. But for the right, I'm playing G and A sharp. And after that, I'm playing D6. Still playing octave D on my left. Right hand, I have now F sharp and B. So the major third and the sixth. Then I'm going to continue with this, B minor, octave B, D, F sharp and B, so that's B minor, first inversion, moving up a fourth on E minor, octave E, G and B, then we're going to keep the same notes on the right and change the left to play G, so that's G and D, G, B. Then we're going to move up by one whole step and play A, A and E for the left, A and C sharp right hand. And finally, we have this, A sus4. Same notes, but now for the right hand, I have A and D. Okay, let's play the verse. Two, three, four. One, two, and 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 three, four. Okay, that's the first pattern we're going to use to play the verse. So I'm playing here the full chord of D major on the first beat. Then I'm replaying the notes on my right hand on the second beat. So one, two. After that, on the end of the second beat, I'm going to play the tap note on my left. That's D up here. And then I'm going to switch on the third beat and play G minor over D. And again, I'm going to replay the notes on my right hand now on the fourth beat. So that's one, two, and three, four. So that's the first pattern. I'm going to repeat it four times. Here we go. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Okay, now we have the second pattern of the verse. It goes like this. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. So again, same thing. I'm starting with D, then switching to G minor. Then next up, instead of going back to D, I'm going to play D6 with the same pattern. 
going to replay the tab D on the fourth beat. So it goes like this. One, two, and three, four, and, and then we have D6. One, two, and three, four, and. So after playing D6, I'm going to go back to G minor over D. And again, I'm going to replay the tap D on the fourth beat, on the end of the fourth beat. So, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. And from here, repeat. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four. So I played the same thing, but if you noticed, on the end of the fourth beat here, after playing my last G minor over D, I'm not, I'm not sorry, going to replay the top D. So we have this. Second pattern. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four. Repeat. One, two, and three, four. to the verse. Here it is again from the top, slow tempo. Two, three, four. One, two, and 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 three, second pattern. Perfect. Now let's play the pre chorus. It goes like this One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. So, very simple. We're going to start on B minor. From here, I'm going to replay the notes on my right hand on the second beat, that's D, F sharp, B. One, two, then I'm going to switch to E minor, and then again, replay the notes on my right hand, now on the fourth beat. So, one, two, three, four. Then for the next measure, I'm going to play over G playing the full chord on the first beat and replaying the notes on my right hand on the second, third and fourth beat. One, two, three, four. Then next measure, I'm going to move up on A and play this. So first measure, I'm playing A, the full chord of A major. Then I'm going to replay A and C sharp on the second beat. And on the end of the second beat, I'm going to replay the bottom note on my left. And that's A, the root note. One, two, and. Then I'm going to play A sus4 on the third beat. And I'm going to sustain the chord as well for the fourth beat, like this. Three, four. And then I'm back on A, first beat. Play and sustain. And then on the third beat here, you're going to move up your right hand and play octave G. So, one, two, three, four. So again for A, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's our pre-chorus, once again. Two, 
three, four. Okay, perfect. Now let's recap and replay the verse and pre chorus at full speed. And that's all for this first part. For the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.